Hello everybody, this is Donna with ddivadesigns.blogspot.com. How are you today? Um, I actually wanted to show you my finished project. A couple of uh, days ago, I actually uh, posted a video of some uh, metal pieces that I found at AC Moore. They were originally $3.99 a piece, and I got them for 80% off their, um, their metal... Uh, I think they were just going to be uh, metal hangings for a door, and they originally said something like uh, something Halloweenish, like your home is where the heart haunt is, or something like that. But it was kind of sort of Halloweenish. And here's the backside of it. It was just a plain, uh, plain metal piece, and at the top of it, it had some uh, some metal wiring and some raffia wrapped around the top. So I knew I was going to alter it because, of course, it was 80% off, $3.99. So I got all three pieces, and I made a wall hanging, uh, which I haven't put the ribbon in the holes just yet. <clears throat> but um, I'm actually going to give this to my brother and my sister-in-law. Um, as a home deck piece for their house so uh, for less than what five bucks and some supplies that I had I actually made a um, uh, which I think is a, as, is a nice looking uh, wall hanging for them for their home um, so I'll just get started real quick what I ended up doing here again is three pieces I'll just try to show you this is piece number one this is number two and number three and they're fairly big too I'm not sure if the camera is picking up on but I want to say it's probably Oh, probably like 9 by 6, 10 by 6 or something like that. But anyway, it's, they're fairly big. So eventually what I'm going to do is make this a wall hanging. And I put some uh, some large eyelets um, to hold my, uh, my pieces so that it becomes a wall hanging. I'll probably use the top to put some ribbon or some fibers or something at the top so it can actually hang on the wall. And... Um, and I'm going to put a picture of them right here on this on this one right here. I'm going to put you, put a picture there for them on this very first one. The second one I'm going to leave as is, and the third one it just says uh, their last name, which is my last name too, the Arringtons. Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit about what I did. Again, this came completely. It was like a brown color. I'll show you that. And I'm probably going to do something to the back too. So what I did, I um, let's see, I covered all the pieces with some white gesso at first, and then I used some um, Hayride Glimmer Glam around the edges. And I'm hoping that uh, Glimmer Glam is being picked up around the sides. And the paper line that I use, let me just start so I won't forget. The paper line that I use, of course, is this Mary Posa paper. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. Very gorgeous paper, never ever ever goes out of style. So this is going to be the first one, and I'll hang hang some ribbon here so it can actually hang on the wall. These beautiful flowers, of course, came from my wonderful friend Charlene Gibson. Charlene, thank you so much for your beautiful flowers. I used two of them on this piece. And here's some Prima leaves that are in gold. And again, I just uh, didn't do too much to it. I just added the paper, added this flower, added my large eyelet so it can hang. And that was pretty much the first panel. I hope you can see that. On the second panel, um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to put a little small embellishment there. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put there for them to put a picture there as well. I may just leave it as is. Um, I added some uh, E-line bling here. This is not premium. This is E-line bling here. And it was originally like a crystal color and I used some alcohol ink to make it gold. I hope you can see that. And again, all that wonderful glimmer glam around the edges. Hope you can see that. That Mary Posa paper is just gorgeous. This uh, little sticker right here came from Seven Gypsies. And what I did with this butterfly, I wanted to give it some dimension. So what I did, I uh, cut it out from another uh, piece of paper. And then I added some, um, some uh, lacquer there, I believe. Like some glossy accents that are, have colors, I guess is what you call it. Just to give it some dimension. And then, of course, here are my wonderful Adage tickets. And it says, Love, Live, and Play. And all I did was just add some stickles to it just to bling it up a little bit. So this is panel number two. It says Home Sweet Home. And I added some bling here. So that will hang after that one. And this final one um, just has their name. I just used some, I used my Cricut, I think it was Plantain, just to, uh, Plantain to uh, die cut these uh, letters. Added some ribbon, just some trim. Added another one of Charlene's Beautiful Flowers, some Prima Leaves, 
course that wonderful Mary Post of paper. And I believe, I'm not sure, these are just, they're like thickers, but they're not thickers. I can't remember the name of them, but it just says the Arringtons, which is my family's last name. And I added some of that enamel paint uh, from Ranger to the letters just to give it some, some shine and some dimension. So that would be panel number three. All right. So it will hang. Uh, I think it'll be uh, it'll be a beautiful wall hanging. Again, I'm going to probably put there put a picture of them right there. A wonderful picture I have of them. I'm going to put that right there for them. I'm probably going to leave panel number two blank probably, and then for panel number three, um, of course I'll leave that as is. All right. So that's my finished project. And I wanted to show you guys what I did with that, uh, those metal pieces. And again, for less than five bucks and the use of my supplies, I actually um, made yet another um, homemade gift for Christmas. That's the, that's the mode that I'm in this Christmas. I'm actually um, trying to save some money this year and I'm making a bunch of projects. And um, hey, one other thing I want to show you guys too. Let me show you this real quick. I found this at a yard sale. It's like a, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a, uh, I want to call it like a trivet or um, I don't even know what you call it. But you set it down on a, on a bar or something like that. I have a friend, her and her husband are into wine. They totally love wine. So what I did, I found it at a yard sale and um, I used some uh, Mod Podge. I cleaned it up, obviously. And then I put some Mod Podge all over it to gl glam it up a little bit. And then I took one of the, um, what do you call it, the Tim Holtz has those um, fragments, a large piece. And what I did, I made this piece, I, I used some, car, not cardstock, but I pulled an image off of uh, the web, I believe, of some wine bottles. And I put it behind the, uh, the, large, the largest fragment in the pack. And I used some gold um, alcohol ink over the top of it just to um, give it some bling. And then, of course, I added their name there. I won't show you that, but in any event, she may be looking at my videos. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, what I did, I just created this little nameplate for them with their name. And what I'm going to do is adhere it down on, on, the, uh, on this. And give this to them as a gift for Christmas. So I thought it turned out pretty neat. I like the way this definitely turned out, too. It was really cute. All right. So again, you, there's plenty of things that you can find and you can alter and uh, excuse me, there are plenty of things you can find that you can alter. And uh, I found that at least with my circle of family and friends, they absolutely look forward to um, to things that are homemade and things they can hang and hang in their house or put in their office or something like that. So but anyway, that's just it. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this project. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Smooches!